hello beauties welcome back to my channel it's been a while okay it's been a while since i have uploaded a video a long kind of video okay thank god for youtube shorts you know you can now upload shorts and it will still reflect on your youtube channel okay thank god for that because mm, it's been like a month since i've uploaded a long form of video that is because i had some itches with my um with my 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 editing software if you're watching this video and you're a youtuber please let me know in the comment section below what editing software you are using okay because my editing software that i used i i used um this one for mac it just escaped my mind i used that one for some reason it started misbehaving i don't know if it's the computer that was misbehaving or the software that was misbehaving i don't know okay so but if you're watching this video that means i figured something out or that means i used something else so for today's video i'm going to be doing it's going to be a very short video because i'm going to be creating an eyeshadow makeup that i saw and i liked so let us get right into that video all right so the eye makeup that I, I i saw on instagram and i wanted to create it so bad is this one right here i don't know yes i think you can see it oh useless phone so it's that one right there so it's kind of a smoky green glittery green kind of look so i saw this i was like yeah i am going to recreate that look okay so let us get right into it and before for any eyeshadow makeup you have to prep your eyelids and in order to do that i'll be going in with this my eye prep eye prime eye primer by juvia's place guys my kids are dealing with me okay look at this so apparently they got into my makeup room and then they took it's supposed to be like this so they break it you see that's what they did i still have a lot of product in here so i just have to manage it the way i have to manage it and use it because this cost me a lot of money so i'll be using this to prep my eyes and i will just be going in with this my brush this is uh mcq brush i'll be i'll just do this i'll take an amount of it like that and i'll just go ahead and start applying like that we need you always need to prep you know your to apply some form of base so that your eyeshadows are sticking to this base if you do not do it then you won't really see your eyeshadows will not really pop so like i was saying i i it's been a while since i've uploaded a long form of video but again i thank god for youtube shorts because you know uploading shorts it also helps grow your channel and it 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 also helps your channel active you know your channel is not just dormant if you're not uploading long form of videos so that has been helping me a lot i've been uploading at least one one shot a day okay that has really helped so i am coming back i am back and i will go back to uploading uploading two videos a week like i did god helping me okay because it's it's not easy having to deal with your kids you, you know three toddlers at home girl it's only god that gives moms strength okay it's only god after going in with that base i'll be going in straight with the eyeshadow palette and the palette that i'll be using today will be this my palette that i am still to do a review on it i've used it quite a lot but because i i just love this palette so much you can create every and any look with this palette i'll be using this section of it because i have the darks i have the greens i have the shimmery you know so this will just be 
the best section of it that I'll be using. So again, I will just go in and the very first shade that I'll be going in with, I'll go in with this, um, let's see, from this end to as a transition shade, I'll go in with this one right here. The, the, the shadows do not actually have a name. So I'll go in with that one and I'll just start applying right up there. After applying that transition shade, I'll just I'll immediately go in with this dark shade that we have right here. Remember that that uh, that eyeshadow look was like a dark smoky green kind of sh uh, shade. It had like this dark outer end and then it had this green in the middle. So I'll go ahead with this dark shade. This is a very, very pigmented shade. So you have to be careful when you, when you use it. So I'll just go in with the same brush and then I'll just start parking it. I'll just start parking it right at the end here just like that I'll keep going in I'll keep going in I'll keep going in until you know I get the desired uh, pigment that I want All right, after applying that dark shade, I will now go in with a green shade. And the green shade that I'll be using today is going to be this one right here. This one, I'll go ahead and apply this one to the inner corner of, of the eye. So I'll just, I'll start grabbing it like that. Then I'll just start, you know, applying it right there like that. The next thing that I will do, I will do a lot of blending, okay? You see all these harsh lines that are cutting across? We do not want that. So I'll go ahead with a clean brush. This brush has nothing in it. And then I'll just start blending so, you know, to avoid those harsh lines that we see right there. I'll just start using circular motions to blend that out. that is what we have after blending during the blending I discovered that I was losing some of that dark and the green so I went ahead and I added some so that is what we have now the next shade because when I look at that picture I see there is some form of a shimmery um, shade on top of the green so for the shimmery shade I hadn't even decided okay for the shimmery shade, I'll go in with, and I'll be using the same brush that I used to apply my green shade. I'll go in with this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll go in with this shade, and I'll just apply it right on top of that green. Hopefully, this is what I am going for, because that looks like... Let us try guys, fingers crossed that we don't, we don't mess it up. Okay, that is not bad. Yes, that is what, that is exactly what we're going for. So go in again with a little bit more and I'll just apply it on top of that green shade like that. Do we see that coming together? Okay, I think that is it. 
we have that put 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 together okay so that is it for the eyeshadow shade all right guys you know what time is it it is time for our wink liner and i'll be going in with this my um rimmer london exaggerate exaggerate eyeliner this is what that looks like i'll use that to draw my wink if you know me okay you know that i am still struggling with wink liners so i'll just do what i can do so please do not judge me okay it's not everything that makeup artists they know how to do as far as the makeup is concerned so let me use my small mirror to achieve that because again i need to be really close when i do it if not girl all right I will go in with my waterline this is the last but not the least thing that I will do with those eyes I will go in with my waterline and this is um, extra well I don't know where I got this one but it's ex extreme lasting eye pencil waterproof that is what I have for this one and i don't know if it's sharp enough but i'll go ahead and use it like this do i have do i need my hand mirror still because this mirror is too far i like when it's when i can see it very very close okay very very close so mm. all right guys i have the waterline going now again like i said this was going to be a very a very short video because it was all about this eyes go look at that did i pull that off or not okay let me show you all again what i was trying to create hopefully i got it okay now this is what i was trying to create Look at that. Can you compare that? Look at that. Yay. So I'll go ahead and finish the rest of the face of camera and then I'll come back and show you all what this whole look, okay, looks like with a finished face. So do not go away. Keep, keep, keep watching so guys this is the final look now let me know was i able to pull that off was i able to recreate that look this is the look let me show you all again what that looks like this is it look at that so let me know in the comment section what you think if you think i was able to pull it off if you think i did it more than them or if you think they did it more than me please you are welcome to comment below okay now this is what that finished look is looking like i think i pulled it off i think i did exactly what is in that picture okay i think i did so yeah this is the finished look that is it for the video today if you haven't subscribed to my channel please join the tribe okay we are all happy people here okay thank you so much for watching up till now subscribe comment give me a thumbs up if you like it and why not share share with family and friends because 
they say sharing is caring okay and without much talking i will see you in my next video bye bye